the threads of chaos and despair. The Almighty has spoken. He calls his chosen. Yes. Those who bear his divine might. Yeah. His saviors. We live in the book of the acts. I carry my cross on my back. My home is still stuck in the trap. Go hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. The picture through all of my walls. The picture through all of my walls. And now I'm here playing this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I think it's just about time now. To break the whole habit. To clean off the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life give us lemons, we turn it to vengeance. To stronger than Lord and his might now. All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same. wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain. The people that I love, they think that I've gone insane yeah. When it gets pretty and look at real life, they pull up and smart, they fade, yeah It's a blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stand it, I'm in, yeah But it needs to change, yeah But it needs to change, yeah I'm a mother, I'm no man, yeah So I'm just switching my hands, yeah But it's all that I change, yeah Cause it's all that I change, yeah Cause it's all that I change, yeah Straight to the religion, it's only a view to stay true and some tripping. Angel, if you got no clue what you slipping, it's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I fool with no vision. I'm moving like fast to my mind, steady swimming. Y'all know what time it is. Hey, welcome, welcome back to another episode of the Final Trumper Radio Show. Y'all know what time it is. We're going to get into it today. With some craziness, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it. who I got with me? To my right? Hey, Shalom, Mr. Grace Bless, Officer Aton. To my far right? Hey, Officer You Want Thun, Yasharala. To my left? Officer You Want Thun, Kasat. My far left? Officer Marshall. And to my far, far, far left? Most High Christ Bless, Officer Kaz. We got Officer Kaz in the building. Our <laughs> reader today is? Officer Yehoshua. Officer Yehoshua in the building. Y'all, time of this is another episode of the Final Trumpet Radio Show. Yes, I would, sir. I would do the uh, Final Trumpet Radio, Radio, Radio Show, Radio Show, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. You know where that slogan came from? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, big Bring shout, out. big shout out to our Hidden History Radio, Radio, Radio Show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that was created right here in the Carolinas before we got a, uh, you know, our own show. I, I mean. <laughs> You got to go all the way back to the first. You got to go all the way back to the first episodes of our Hidden History Radio Show. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Cap Joel, I just had to put it out there. I mean, if I I got receipts, I got the tape. I got the tape. Got the tape. But all praise to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to all the radio shows that's out spreading this truth, pushing this gospel. You know what I'm saying? Doing what we do and keeping our feet on the damn gas pedal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to wake our people up. Today's show is a little interesting, though. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to beat. We're gonna have to beat uh, Cam Newton across the head and the Poly Nation, because black men in America are broke as hell. <laughs> right. It is what it is. Try, try act like they man. Try act like they have all these women. Get yeah, uh, and, but, then, and then make an excuse. Brothers can barely take care of a damn dog. They They can't take care of the baby. (laughs) There ain't no way. And now you have this movement of the poly nation. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's it's a shame that because we don't have a a, we don't have a connection to our God. We don't have a connection to nothing that the Lord gave us because of our sins. We reach out and just grab hold to anything. You know what I'm saying? The poly, that pollination crap is is all to be uh, an extreme whoremonger. Right? That's it. That's it. <laughs> then they have the nerve to try to use the Bible to justify Ex- their foolishness. Exactly. Exactly. We're gonna we're gonna jump into it. Let's jump right into it. The very first uh, clip right here. Let's play this. This is your boy. Uh, I didn't even know this was Cam Newton because he looked freaking weird as hell. You know what I'm saying? He looked damn weirdo, bro. Like that's the type of that's the type of brothers being into this poly shit too. Damn weirdos. Hey, go ahead and play this uh, clip real quick. Uh, let's go ahead. When David clip. was in battle, mm-hmm. he would go back to not only to save his wives, 
but to go back and protect his concubines. Mm -hmm. You know, King David had multiple women, and uh, you know, and Abraham and Israel, and you know, he didn't name all those names, but he named multiple men in the in the Bible. But it's true. I have never had one woman in my entire life, in my entire life. And people have told me that something is wrong with me. If you let America tell you. For this full video and many other exclusive member-only videos, make sure you click on my profile and subscribe to my channel. All right. So y'all see this foolishness was right. going on right yeah. here, man. Hey, <laughs> go back to the clip, right? And, and play the second brother. The brother that, oh, I, I've never had one woman in my life. People look at me. Like, look at, exactly. <laughs> hey, play it again. In <laughs> our religion, mm -hmm. it has got lost in translation. Pause there right there. Some our religion has got lost in translation. It's called Christianity. Right. right. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's it's what called, talking about. That's what, it's called Christianity. That's it. Because in, uh, Christians don't believe the Bible. They don't, they don't do nothing in the Bible. Right. right. Absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But they know everything, though. So y'all, our religion has got, what he said? Lost, uh, in, lost translation. in translation. Lost in translation. Yep. Yep. When God says thou shall not do it, means something else. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, ain't, that ain't what God meant. That ain't what it meant. Hey, play on real quick. Valued men in the Bible that had a lot of favor from God mm -hmm. by having multiple wives. Was that the very beginning? And yes. multiple concubines. Was, mm -hmm. So Hell you not. can't sit up here and say you want a man of God and not acknowledge the fact that, oh, in this society is socially accepted, but in the Bible, when you talk about David, mm -hmm. when you talk about Solomon, the mm -hmm. most wi the wisest person in all of earth, mm -hmm. he had the most wives anybody has ever had. Let's pause mm -hmm. right hey, there. Hey. Let's pause right there. <laughs> Because you got to dissect the nigga. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Powerful piece, nigga dream yeah. work. Yeah. Piece by piece. Right. Now, they want to They want to use the Old Testament. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. They want to they, do it. They, they want to go back in, into history when we had power. Right. When we had substance. Black people don't got no substance today. <laughs> right. We in slavery. Right. right. This, is, this, is the, this is the translation that's gotten twisted. None of you Negroes, not even you ex-NFL football players or you current football players, have the wealth that our forefathers had during that time. Right. right. Nor the peace. Nor the, nor the peace. Because right. y'all slaves. Look, exactly. Nor the ability to make a law. No, nothing. 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 They, still, they pay taxes to the very same people we enslaved to. They sit there acting like... Right. They can't even get off child support. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. They got a poly nation. Right. <laughs> poly nation hive. You know it's always it's the bull. biggest whoremongers that's quoting the Bible. Exactly. Right. That's the problem right there. Right. The whoremongers quote the Bible. Men that get high, get blazed, they always quoting the Bible. They put these celebrities out there mm -hmm. as if they know something about the Bible. It right. And for him to for him to just throw that to throw that out there. First he started with our religion has got uh lost in tran in translation. Right. And then you go back but you and you go to the Bible the 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 scriptures, the text, the text of the scriptures to say that, oh, look at David. David, you know, did this, and yeah. you know, Solomon. Solomon did yeah, the Lord had great favor upon them, but they had power, they were in rulership, they had the ability to take care of these women. Right. Now, was it right that Solomon <laughs> did what he did? Right. No. Right. <laughs> Bring it out. Right. This, 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 hey, get me that. This damn fly. Was it right? That so it says Solomon sinned by these things. Uh, mm -hmm. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Yeah. That's what Nehemiah yeah. So what, what? What? Is this a mistranslated uh, scripture? Because he holler, oh, the Bible, our religion has got lost in translation, and you want to use the scriptures. Well, let's see what the scriptures actually say about what Solomon did. You got that for me? Yes, sir. Did y'all want to start at verse twenty-three? Yeah. Yeah. Look at Nehemiah chapter thirteen and verse twenty-three. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. So let's stop right there. Let's just let's just analyze just that part right there. Read it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. So these are these other nations that yep. that that uh Solomon and that uh, 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 our brothers dealt with, right? Much like today. We, I know down in Florida, y'all y'all here right here, but down in Florida, there's this thing about with, with black men. Mm. They love dealing with other nations. Like, they don't want to deal with sisters. They want to deal with all of the other nations. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a worldwide thing, but I'm just speaking about the community that I, come, that I come from. It was always been a thing where we want to deal with the other nations. Well, the scriptures is telling us clearly that we should not be dealing with these other nations. Right. 
there's more than having a poly relationship, you know what I'm saying, in today's time with these other nations. In ancient times, the Bible t- t- said that th- these things we were not supposed to do. Right. Mm-hmm. But let's find out why. Read on. Verse 24. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod. So in the scriptures, they spoke half in the speech of Ashdod. And could not speak in the Jews' language. But they couldn't speak in the Jews' language, meaning they couldn't speak in their own language, the language of their fathers. Right. Right. So when we get tied up with these other nations and uh, these other nations teach these children their language, they're going to learn their gods, they're going to learn their traditions, they learn their culture, then they be looking at their own culture as though it's some weird... Uh, yeah. Device or something like like you crazy you worship on a false god or something like that. Get lost in translation. You get lost in translation. Yeah. But let's read on. But according to the language of each people. Uh huh. And I contended with them. What did what did Nehemiah do? I contended with them. He could meaning he damn near put your ass to death. Nehemiah was not the man to play with. Right. He was the enforcer. You know, mm-hmm. y- some of y'all know what I'm talking about. He was the enforcer. <laughs> right. Straight up. Come on. And cursed them. And smote certain of them, uh-huh. and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye should not give your daughters unto their sons. So we're not supposed to give our daughters to their sons. Nor take their daughters unto your sons, uh-huh. or for yourselves. Uh-huh, come on. Now why? Did not Solomon... Did not who? Solomon... Did not Solomon that uh, uh, Cam Newton is, is referencing right now, mm-hmm. did not Solomon... King of Israel, uh-huh. sin by these things. He did what? Sin by these things. So, Mr. Cam Newton, you cannot run through these scriptures and quote these names as they as though the, what they did was righteous when the Bible clearly says that, yeah, Solomon, he sinned by these things. This right. was a sin. Right. 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 They Come like on. the scenario, but not the judgment. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> finish, finish the verse. Yet among many nations was there no king like him who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Uh-huh. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Did we that part again? Nevertheless. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. So by dealing with these women, that was a sin. It right. caused them to sin. Right. Yeah, Solomon was wise. He did all these, you know, went into all of this folly and things of that nature. He eventually uh, uh, got his mind right, but that doesn't mean that we can use what Solomon did and apply it to ourselves today. Right. Hell no. What you got? Nah. You, you, you brewing on something? Um, yeah, get through Deuteronomy 17 real quick. Mm-hmm. Y'all bro, jump, jump in there when, you know what I'm saying? Please. Jump in there. Uh, there's, a, there's, I, there's a video that I'm waiting to come up. Oh, it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to Yeah, it's in there. He's coming. I want to make fun of this other dude real quick, though. He looked weird. I'm like, who in the hell would even sleep with this guy? How in the hell, how in the hell could he be Polly? The Bible knows. <laughs> right. The Bible knows. <laughs> right. Because Deuteronomy 17, they like to pull, they, they always pull the Old Testament examples of right. polygamy, right? Mm-hmm. But let's see, in the book of Deuteronomy, it don't, it don't get no older than the writings of Moses, right? Get Deuteronomy 17, start at verse 14. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17 and verse 14. Now these are the guidelines for, for a king to be over Israel. Read that. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, mm-hmm. and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and say, and thou shalt say, I will set a king over me. Like as all the nations that are about me. Right, because the Most High is prophesying, saying, it's going to be a time when your heart is not going to rely on me anymore. You want to mm-hmm. be just like all the other nations and set a king over you. So he's going to set these guidelines. Read. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, mm-hmm. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. He's still giving a stipulation. You're going to set a king who God's going to choose. Read. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Right, so that's we, we're not supposed to be voting for these these other nations at all to set a king over us. Read. Thou mayest not. Wait, hold wait, on, hold wait, on, wait, wait, wait. Get his mic, 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 mic. Right. Go ahead. Thou mayest not set a stranger. No, nah, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. nah Mike, wait, back Mike, out. Trip. Make sure, make make sure the reader got a good mic, man. Right. Test it. All right, go ahead. Thou mayest not. Set, sorry, let me lose. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, mm-hmm. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren, thou shalt set king over thee. 
Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. Go ahead. Which is not thy brother. All right, so. No. Those, Yo, no. Hey, on. get him a get him a mic stand. A real, a real, oh, a new mic. Joint. Get him a mic stand. That way, it, I, it'll be in place. Right. Yeah, be how you hold no, it. We don't need no. Right. We don't need no problems. But hey, go ahead. Uh, why they get, why they fix that? Shoot, I'll read it right quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Mm -hmm. One from among thy brethren. So the first stipulation is he must be among one from among your brethren. Go ahead. Shalt thou set king over thee. Mm -hmm. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. So that's the first stipulation. Our king over us had to be of the nation of Israel. Read. But he, but he shall not multiply horses to himself. He should not multiply horses to himself like all of the kings do because they gather up all the riches. Go ahead. Nor cause the people to return to Egypt. Nor nor turn. Have, he must teach a godly doctrine where he's following our God and not turning back into Egypt. Read. To the end that he should multiply horses. Go ahead. For as much as the Lord have said unto you, ye shall henceforth return no more that way. Read the next one. Verse 17. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself. Read it again. Uh-oh. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself. This is in the book of Deuteronomy. Uh-oh. This is in the book of Deuteronomy before Israel even had a king over them. Right. Mm -hmm. This is before King David, before King Solomon. What's the issue? It says yeah. neither. Read that again. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself. Why not now? Read. That his heart turn not away. Did we not just read that about King Solomon? Mm -hmm. Dealing with all these different women. Dealing with... Because women is emotional. Israelite women right. as well as the women of the other nations. And their minds go off. They need a hedge. There's no way in the world you can be a hedge to 15, 20 different women at a time like that. Right. There's no way in the world without them causing you to turn away. Read. Right. Neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. Right, so he can't be of a covetous nature where he's taking advantage of the people, taxing right. them and taking all that silver and gold. But the point was, our kings that were set over, we weren't supposed to have kings over us in the first place. Right. But we set them over us because we wanted to be like the other nations, right. which was against mm -hmm. the Most High's will in the first place. But let them let them tell it. It's, Bring it it's, out. Let them tell it. It's, it's, uh, it's our Heritage. Right. 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 But it's our heritage. Hey, right. Exactly. One more scripture to kill that. Give me Tobit 4 and 12. Oh, we're going to get another scripture to kill it. It's going to be a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, of killers today. A lot today. of bloodshed today. <laughs> Poly Nation, if you follow this, if you follow this Poly Nation hive crap, and this is something that you are, uh, you have a desire to do, you a simp. You a right. simp brother, right. and you a simp sister. Mm -hmm. Straight up. You a whoremonger. That's what you are. Right. Yo, That's what you crazy. is. Go ahead, Oz. I got you. I got you. Tobit, what, Tobit. What, 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 what verse? What uh, verse? Uh, Tobit 4 and 12. I got you. Beware the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 12. Freedom. Beware of all whoredom, my son, and cheaply take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. They say wives or wife? Wife. That's, of, that's singular. Mm, right. Mm -hmm. That's a bomb right there. And take not a strange woman to wife which is not of thy father's tribe. So we're supposed to be marrying women of our own nation, first and foremost. And as you saw about Solomon, Solomon was marrying wives outside his nation, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. which caused Simon or Solomon to go into sin. Exactly. We, that covenant that we have of wanting to always be with the other nations, that causes whoredom. Right. right. And it dilutes our seed because we're a royal priesthood. We have a royal bloodline. Mm -hmm. We dilute our seed with these other nations. Read it again from the top. The book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 12. Beware of all whoredom, so my son. So the subject is whoredom. Read. And cheaply take a wife of the seed of thy father. So if you take more than one wife, that's whoredom. Read. And take not a strange woman to wife. So taking another woman from outside your nation is whoredom. Read. Which is not of thy father's tribe. Uh huh. For we are the children of the prophets. We're the children of who? Of the prophets. We're the children of prophets. And what do we mingle ourselves with? The heathen, yeah, and make and make it so bad. We want the worst of the heathen. Right. Mm -hmm. We want those little cave monkeys that's running around right <laughs> oh now that's ruling the earth. You understand? Three. Noah, mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred, uh -huh. and were blessed in their children, and their seed shall inherit the land. We was blessed with marrying our own people. Right. Now look at us now, right. in these days. And then what's heavy is that they like to bring up Abraham, 
had multiple mm-hmm. women as well. Mm-hmm. It, Abraham needed an heir at the time. Right. Right. Those, right. those different situations. We're not Abraham. They don't, they don't bring right. up the history. Right. right. They don't. Right. right. They don't talk nothing of the history at all. Right. Nigga, you is not Abraham. <laughs> exactly. Right. Can't not at do all. that. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. It's crazy as hell. Hey, let me get uh, your, well, Rita, your mic. T- test your mic. Hey, you know what's crazy? He ain't ready yet. Hey, you know what's crazy? Dang. You said he's not Abraham. You know, cause God said he had love and favor for them. Nigga, he got us in slavery. <laughs> right. <laughs> it ain't no exactly. love. We slaves. <laughs> we, catching, we catching it over here. But, this, God, this is the issue. These niggas don't know the Bible. <laughs> right. But that's, like it. that's just what it's going to be. <laughs> Solomon knew that it was a sin. Exactly. Right. exactly. These dudes don't even know that it's a sin. No. Right. They don't care to understand the history. No. They see, damn, I can get a whole lot of ass. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, up a little bit. I'm with, I'm, about to, I'm with this poly I'm stuff. I'm with this poly nation. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Poly nation high. Yeah, it's great. Hey, hey, cap. Right. Go ahead. We don't want to let them slip because, you know, a, a Negro, once you... Wrap them up in the Old Testament. Well, you know, they don't say nothing like that in the New Testament. Mm. Yes, it does. Yeah, right. Let's get that. Let's get First Corinthians 7. What God did? Read it out. Go you know ahead. what I'm saying? We, we, we got to make sure go the Negro understand that, oh, I done messed you up. Now, go ahead. Go on here. Go on here. Go on here. Go on here. Hey, read mic not working? That God dang on Marshall. Test it, test it. <laughs> the read mic sounds like it's working. Are we ready? All, praises. All right, let's go. First Corinthians 7. Verse 2. Verse two. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 2. Go ahead. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Sexual immorality. What should we do? Read. Let every man have his own wife. Have his <laughs> own wife. Singular. Right on. And let every woman have her own Husband. Singular. Because right. guess what? The black woman be trying to find ways right. to have multiple well, men. They, oh, they, oh, we, I'm we, not to we, send it over there right now. We're about to get into that. We're about to get into that. You gave you gave the uppercut too quick, bro. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? You got a jab. You got a jab. You got a jab. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning. Hey, don't nobody go in a fight and just go... Whoop, I learned. Type, whoop, you know what I'm saying? I, I was I'm learning. Sorry. I held back. I'm, yeah, I, I you, was, you was holding back. Bro. Okay, you did good. Marshall, man, it's him. We trying to, hey, first round knock. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> we got a long way to go. Just, hey, you got to okay. pop. You got to, okay. boy, you got to swell the eye up yeah. over time. You Be know a stat man? filler. Hey, man, yeah. say the okay. Mike Tyson fight, bro. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm, nah, I'm over with, Floyd Mayweather I'm, Tyson. I'm, a bunch of, I'm around a bunch of warmongers, so I got to get right. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Let's get a uh, 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 First Kings eleven real quick. Just going into more mm-hmm. of the history of Solomon. We're gonna read down to verse. Uh, hell, we we could keep on reading just to bust them across the head. But I think I'm gonna stop at verse six, maybe. Let's start at verse one. Come on. The Book of First Kings, chapter eleven and verse one. But King Solomon loved many strange women. So going back into the history, and we have to we have to dive deep into the crevices of this uh, uh, brother's brain because. It's many people going to follow that statement and what he said because it's Cam Newton. You know what I'm saying? Brothers that have that they, that have that desire, because he said it, they're going to want to follow it by, by the droves. Come on, read. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh, uh-huh. women of the Moabites. Oh, yeah. He had some Chinese. Ammonites. Come on. Edomites. Come on. Zidonians. Uh-huh. And Hittites. So he had all the nations up in there. Come on. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel... Ye shall not go in to them. So the Lord told us not to do. Solomon knew this. Come on. Neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart after their God. This is the main, this is one of the main problems. They will turn your mind away from following our true God. Come on. Solomon clave unto these in love. But Solomon, he clave unto them in love. Now, was it right? Come on. And he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. They turned away the heart of Solomon. Now, he, a Negro talking about poly nation, and he trying to get two wives. Broke as hell. Get, hey, hey, he ain't working. He's sending them to work. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Oh, shoot. He's, sending him, he's sending them to work. He at home playing down video games. Right. But Solomon, it says Solomon had how many? Read that again. And he had 700 wives. 700 wives. Come on. Princesses uh-huh. and three hundred concubines. Three hundred concubines. Come on. And his wives turned away his heart. And they did exactly what the Lord said would happen. Turned away his heart. Read. For it came to pass when Solomon was old. So now Solomon is old. Come on. 
that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. Read. And his heart was not perfect. His heart was Lord. what? Not perfect. His mind wasn't right. His heart was not perfect. With the Lord his God. With the Lord his God. His mind was not right with the Lord his God. So when you use Solomon, you need to be able to go into the context to see that, yeah, Solomon went off, but his mind was not right with God, and he knew this. Right. He knew this thing. Read on. As was the heart of David his father. As was what? The heart of David his father. Because the brother mentioned David. You know what I'm saying? He, right. he, he went into David, and he went into Solomon. But this tells you clearly as was the heart of David, his father. Their mind was not right after doing these things. Come on. Mm -hmm. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth, uh -huh. the goddess of the Zidonians, uh -huh. and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. Read. And Solomon did evil. He did what? Evil mm -hmm. in the sight of the Lord. So what Solomon did, brother, was evil in the sight of the Lord. Right. Right. So when you go into this history, you better understand what you're saying because I think we're going to have a part. Hey, the Poly Nation, I think they're going to be getting it from this point forward because <laughs> this, this is going to lead our people into more and more sin. This right here. Right. And, you know, it, it, up, just to show that uh, what Solomon's sin, it just didn't affect Solomon. It affected the whole people. Right. Exactly. Give me uh, Sirach chapter uh, 48, verse uh, 18. Bring it out. 47, verse 18. So we want to, hey, just to let you know, this this just doesn't affect that one person that got multiple wives. It affects all our people. We got to start realizing we are a nation. We ain't individualized. We're a nation of people. Read. Sirach chapter 47 and verse 18. By the name of the Lord God, which is called the Lord God of Israel, thou didst gather gold as tin, and didst multiply silver as lead. Uh -huh. Thou didst bow thy loins unto women. Read. And by thy body that was brought into some... So he was brought into subjection by sitting there chasing after these multiple women. Read. Thou didst stain thy honor. What did he do? Stain thy he honor. He stained his honor because this was once the wisest man on earth. Come on, he with stained it, his right. honor by messing with these multiple women. Bring it out. Read. And pollute thy seed. What did he do? Damn. Pollute thy seed. He polluted the royal seed, the king, the king line. He polluted that. Read. So that thou broughtest wrath upon thy children. What did he do? Brought wrath upon he thy children. He brought God's wrath upon the children of Israel. Read. And was grieved for thy folly. And guess what? That, that right there, we're still suffering from these things right now. Damn. Because our people are still chasing after these other women, these right. other nations. Damn whoremongers. That's sad. Exactly. Hey, we need another bomb for that one. That <laughs> right, was, right. That <laughs> Hey, hey, let's uh, hey, go back to that clip and play it. Let, let's finish playing it real quick. I know we done played it two times. I want to finish playing it uh, again. Yeah, right there. And David, when David was in battle, mm -hmm. he would go back to not only to save his wives, but to go back and protect his concubines. Mm -hmm. You know, King David had multiple wives. Pause right here. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Look, look, look. <laughs> I know you don't got no multiple women. No, you ain't got no. No, he do. He do. He got multiple he women in the, uh -huh. in the Christian church. They go, they go to the same church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They uh -huh. all of them sit on the front row. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> look at this guy. Just look at him. His, his women are called Timmy and, Come on, brother. Timmy and Tommy. <laughs> Press play. Press play. You know, and Abraham and Israel, and you know, he didn't name all those names, but he named multiple men in the in the Bible. Stop. But it's true. I want I you to pay, pay, hey, pay attention to. <laughs> Why you talk with his chest and all that? How the hell you got? You got how many? How many women you got? He said he, he got said, multiple. He said he's never been with with, with one woman. He said he never right. been with just one. Like th one. those are some uh, very infeminate traits. Right. Some men like to be called she. See, y'all got to get that right. Hey, some men, some, that, some, hey. some, some, some women, uh, men like to be called she. They pushing that in the media, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want to say this dude uh, recently declared himself as an Israelite after he done got cut up on the Oh, that was him? Oh. Yeah. If I recognize the face, I'm pretty sure we can What's find What's his name? I don't know his name. So, come on, man. We got to find that, man. But I want to say he, he started uh, saying that he was an Israelite, so... We got to be mindful that this will come into the nation of Israel, too. Dang. Hey, Trying to keep that thing. doctrine going. Well, if I see brothers around here, hey, 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 h
You know what I'm saying? He battling something. <laughs> right. 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 He definitely is. He's battling something. Right. Keep an eye on him. Hey, press play, though. Finish, finish, finish the uh, teach your mind. One woman my entire life. In my entire life. And people have told me that something is wrong with me. If you let America tell you. For this full video and many other exclusive member-only videos, make sure you click on my profile and nah, subscribe. Nah, we don't need to see no more. Go to the next one. Shameless plug. Go to the, right exactly. here. Go to the, next, uh, the next clip Poly of, uh, from the Poly Nation. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. It is. <laughs> it is. And all of them on it. it uh, I think this is the... Uh, this is the owner wow. of the Poly Nation app. Mm. They have an app for whore monkeys. Where they set That's people crazy. Up. They, yeah. they matchmakers. And st- wow. They have an app to set up whore monkeys. You know, back in the day, they didn't even call it polygamy. It was, uh, you know, uh, sow your royal seeds. You know, we've been pushing that mess on our children. Mm-hmm. And you ain't, ain't got to settle down with one woman. Right. You know, it ain't one man. We've been pushing that whoredom spirit Forever, and mm-hmm. it's just, and now they're just giving it a name. Yeah, that's all they're doing. That was back in '86 with Coming to America. Ain't it? When, when, when did Coming to America come out? The 80s. Yeah, the '80s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So your Royal Oaks. So your Royal Oaks. Hey, press play. Know if it was real, if it was scam or whatever. Whatever your reason for not joining so far, uh, we can now debunk it and 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 bring you to a light. To show you that the community is definitely real. The community wants you there. Not me only. I'm talking about the whole community yeah. uh, wants you there. They want to meet new people uh, just like yourselves. We want to uh, train you up on all the poly questions that you have. If you're in your relationship, if you're single, if you're married. The the full nine yard of help. Y'all are checking out YouTubes. And y'all are checking out, like I said, poly pages and stuff. And you're seeing this basic surface stuff. But if you really want to get in tune and depth with real conversations, with a bunch of real people, um, that's the place to do it, like legit. This is the place you want to be if you're if you're serious about uh, being in the polygynous uh, type lifestyle. So make sure that y'all DM me, anybody who's interested, DM me. To it. The, now, I'm going to tell find you. That suspicious 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 suspicious. So it's like he's just recruiting people. Yeah. Right. right. That's exactly that's what crazy. they're doing. And a lot of sisters are going to fall for this. A lot of brothers going, brothers going in because they just trying to, they right, just want to hit. Right. You know what I'm saying? They broke, they ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? And brothers going join this poly nation stuff because they just want to smash. Yeah, black people act like they ain't <laughs> forgot about AIDS and syphilis. Right, right, and right. Like it don't exist yeah, no more. Yeah, like them diseases are gone. Hey, can I get a script? Go ahead, brother. Hey, get second Timothy three and five. See, yeah, we there. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> These boys, they. They getting on my nerves. But we still, it's, it's a bigger issue behind this polygamy oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big problem. No, not that yet. Not that yet. No, I just want the script right now. We're we going to go through and, yeah, we'll get there in a minute. Read that. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 5. Uh-huh. Yeah. Having a form of godliness. That's why they keep quoting the Bible. Mm-hmm. They got a form of godliness. So they try to bring in the Bible into the scriptures and try to say that's part of why they doing what in the world they doing. So it says of having a form of godliness, go ahead. But denying the power thereof. Because they're not going to keep the commandments. They deny the truth that's in the Bible. Just like they take the multiple wives and forget all the judgment that came behind that. Right. How you going to take the action, but then don't look at the judgment on what happened because of it? Right. Go ahead. From such, turn away. They say, leave them alone, sisters. <laughs> you two simp brothers. Leave right. these their sisters. They want to do that. Go ahead. For of this sort are they which crept into houses. And that's what these, that's what he's doing. He's creeping into women's houses, recruiting. Go ahead. And led captive silly women. Go ahead. Laden with sins. And that's what it is. These are silly Women, full of sin, have no direction, no hedge, no understanding whatsoever. Y'all are being duped right. by people like this right here. And then the thing is, what are they going to... You're going to have children out of these relationships. That's, just, that's the deep, that's the what deep are you, part. What are you going to teach these children? Right. <laughs> what? Are, how, how's their mind going to develop looking at their mother and their father or their mothers right. and their one father... In this one, in this one house. Right. Think about that. Get that in Leviticus. <laughs> Leviticus nineteen. Uh, twenty nine. Leviticus nineteen twenty nine. Because what's gonna happen? This is why the land falls to hoarder. 
You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why. Right mm -hmm. now, then I want the uh I want Leviticus uh what is it? 18. 18. Yeah, 18. Oh. Yeah, I want Leviticus 18. First I want Leviticus 18 and 20. Let's see, this show a lot with a uh 22. You know, 20, 22. Is it 22? Yeah. Yeah. Leviticus. No, 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 not twenty two. That it's that's that's yeah. that's uh. I want the, I want the gay marriage. I want the the one with the sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, is it seventeen and eighteen. Well, how about this? We find that read twenty read read nineteen twenty nine real quick. The book of Leviticus, yeah, 18, 18, chapter 18. nineteen and verse twenty nine. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Because that's what's happening. You are we, we are we are allowing our daughters to be whores. The poly nation opens the door for whoredom. Mm -hmm. right. right. It literally you you literally took took a, a key and just unlocked the door and or left the door wide open for whores. Right. Yep. It says, do what? Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. It says to cause her to be a whore. <laughs> to cause her to be a whore. Meaning <laughs> she ain't a whore yet. Right. Right. But once you look at look at the sister face right here, <laughs> she look high, drunk, and right. just set as an. Ex she's a prostitute. Yeah, look she's at her. set for advertisement. She's ready. If it, let's let's just say, she's a virgin. Let's just say that. Where's your daddy? Let's what? just let's just say that. <laughs> hey, we hey, know. Cap, that, hey, Cap, we, everybody, that, gave, we know that's everybody a stretch. gave you the straight face. Now, I, listen, you look at my hands. Let's say. Put the camera on me. Look at my hands. I look at my hand. I got my hands up. Hey, I say. No way, let's just say. Let's just say. She's a virgin. We just say it. Now get the camera reactions of everybody's faces. God, now look. That's now, a long but, stretch. Now look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at the sister. We just Come saying. Come on, now, dog. We just saying. What if she's a virgin? Look at her face. Put her on the screen. Now hit play. Watch how watch watch how her countenance and everything changes. Hit play. Pollination Hop app. I'm sure everybody that follow me have seen me promote it. You just didn't know what it was, or then. Know if it was real, if it was scam or whatever. Look at that. Whatever she, your listen, reason for right not there, joining. right there and there, right. she's now a whore. A thirsty right. she's, hey, she's now a whore. Dang. It's over with. Yeah. She's now. Hey, she like. She's uh, she. He's already. He's already opened the door for her. Yeah, right. She's she's walking straight in right now. Mm -hmm. Right. She done downloaded the app and done got a uh, a uh, uh, husband in less than an hour. Mm. Got him. <laughs> Read that again. Leviticus chapter nineteen and verse twenty nine. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Because, like I said, children are going to come out of these relationships, and then what? Come on. Lest the land... Lest what? The land... The earth. This is the reason why, when we look at our society, we look at uh, what's going on in our communities, this is the reason why there's so much whoredom in the community right, right now. Right now. The polygamy mindset. It might not be so much as a whole group or a community that's just, you know, down the street. Right. But the idea of sleeping with multiple men, the idea of sleeping with multiple women, it's been in our neighborhood since we've been on the earth. Right. I want to point out something. The scripture that says that these are silly women, this is true because if you got to be groomed, groomed to think that it's okay, he said, yeah, we'll show you how it goes we'll train right. you and up. we'll train you, up. train you up. It means that you too stupid to understand that this is not normal. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. That's a good point. That's a real good point. And, and it all goes back to, I think we, I did a class on something like propaganda, but the propaganda that they're pushing in there, it it develops the whoremonger mindset to where you just, you're comfortable with it. That's what yeah. you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, it, be, it becomes a way of life for them in their poly nation community when it's all against the Bible, but they want right. to use the Bible they want to use the Bible to uh to justify their actions. Right. And there's no justification in the Bible. Like officer just pull uh in First Corinthians. What did we get the one in uh Leviticus 18 and 18. 18, 18, 18, yeah. 18. Right there in my face. Read that. Leviticus mm -hmm. 18, 18. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and verse 18. Freedom. Neither shall thou take a wife to her sister. You see that? Mm. Why he ain't they ain't reading none of this? Well, if right. you say you want a godly man and you say you want a you know what I'm saying? A, 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 a brother of high value from the scroll. Let it be like it was in the scriptures. Well, this is in the scriptures. <laughs> right. Read right. it again. Neither shalt thou take a wife to 
to her sister. You're not supposed to take a wife to her sister. Come on. To vex her. Uh huh. To uncover her nakedness. Come on. Beside the other in her lifetime. Re in what? In her lifetime. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> why he ain't read? Why they ain't reading this? They don't right. know that verse, Dirk. Right, right. And they got a black highlighted cat. Oh, daddy. Yeah, that's right. They got a black a highlighted cat. Read on. <laughs> Also, thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness, as long as she is put apart for her uncleanness. They, hey, they, I bet they don't, they damn sure don't understand this right here. Right. <laughs> hey, it's run some, the red light. some nasty stuff going on in there, boy. Jump up to verse 29. Verse 29. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, even the souls that commit them, shall be cut off from among their people. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Put up on. Right. <laughs> that goes back Done. to that point of being lost in translation. Exactly. They, right. they departing from God, they're getting cut right. off from their people. They they that, and that's what uh I posted a video that's where Cam Newton actually mentioned about having kids like that. Yeah. What you was talking about. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's, let's play in it. In the same interview. Let's play it. Well, it's a different interview, but it's the same, same, uh, same topic. No, 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 not that one. Go to the one with Cam Newton, the last one that uh always don't try to play all of them. This one right here. Okay, so. Okay. Why you gotta look so weird? For a lot of people see my situation. Yeah, put the um. Situation and not think that I'm not high function. What situation? Okay, so I'm not married. I have. How many? Eight. By how eight, many women? Three. And this is the kicker. I want more. By multiple women. What's the intent? I just want God about to your bring wife? Her. I just want God to bring them. Oh, okay. My desire to get married is lower than my fear of divorce. So, as what, you what? had said, Dr. Bryant. So you can you stop said, it right there. That That's what you're talking about, Cap. That's why when you brought it out about the effects of the kids, right? So this man is talking about he want more. He don't care if it's by however many women. He got eight kids by three different people. And he calls himself high function. As though, like, he can be there with all of the kids at the same time. Right. But... If you go to, let's go to Ciroc 41 and 5, right? Bring it out. Watch, this This is crazy. I, and he don't understand what the heck he's doing, nor does he really understand what he's doing to his kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's read that. The book of Ciroc, chapter 41 and verse 5. Go ahead. The children of sinners are abominable children. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And they are conversant in the dwellings of the ungodly. So his kids is going to be talking about ungodly stuff. Watch this. Go ahead. Their inheritance of sinners' children shall perish. Go ahead. And their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. Let's see what the ki let's see what these kids are gonna do though. Go mm -hmm. ahead, verse seven. The children will complain. They'll do what? Complain. They're gonna do what? Complain of what? Of an ungodly father. That's what these kids is gonna start doing. That nigga was never. They finna start complaining. Right. Go ahead. Because they shall be a reproach. For his sake. Because whenever we have kids outside of, we ain't married and having kids all over the place with different mm -hmm. people, our kids don't got father at home. So they become a reproach to everybody else. So now they start complaining. My daddy wasn't there for me. Right. Right. My daddy wasn't there. He missed this and missed that because you can't be everywhere at the same time. Right. Go ahead. Right. Go be unto you, ungodly men. All, all these ungodly men that's in his polygamy or whatever, go ahead. Which have forsaken the law of the most high God. Go ahead. For if you increase, it shall be to your destruction. So it, all that increase you get, yeah, increase of children, increase of money, and all of that stuff, that is for your destruction. So right. if you are watching this uh, episode, Poly Nation, I'm sure you are, because we're going to make sure we tag Poly Nation. <laughs> right. We're going to tag Poly everything. Make You're going to make sure. If you are caught up in this lifestyle, just know that you're breaking God's commandments. And you will be judged. You will, bro. That's an excellent precept right, right there. That, that, that verse eight. Sheesh. Because they never talk about the no. judgment that David received right. for right. his for oh. his whoredom. Right. 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 Babe, children dying. His own child, like you mentioned, yeah. Absalom right. was used to right. fulfill the, the judgment on him for right. dealing with Bathsheba right. in the first place right. by right. sleeping with all his concubines in public and things of that nature. Yeah. You know, Dang. King Solomon was you. His his sin was used to to bring forth. What we're doing now with Christ by the 12 tribes being split, the 12 tribes going against the Most High, going into captivity after captivity after captivity. All of those are judgments based off of our forefathers' sins dealing with women. Right. right. Dealing with women.
But they don't talk about that. They just talk about them lying down and having multiple wives. They, like you said, like you said earlier, Cap, they don't read the history in the Bible. They just pick and choose different situations and say, "I want to live like that." Right. Right. Exactly. That's crazy. Exactly. Hey, that's crazy. Hey, uh, go back to the uh, clips. That was that was a, that's all you wanted. That from was that a right hair That was all I wanted. <laughs> right. All right, let's go to let, let's go to the other nations real quick. Let's see what they talking about. Uh, there's a uh, nah one her yet. Yeah, play this one right here. Let's play this one right here. Yeah. Oh, Becky. and Molly. Oh, Becky. <laughs> you a Molly. Yeah, she a Molly. Yeah, it's a Molly right there. Susanna. <laughs> Come on. Our species norm is polygyny, where you have 80% you know, of cultures on the anthropological record have been polygynous, where you have high-status men have multiple wives and low-status men have no wives. Christianity is unusual in insisting on monogamy. We inherited it from Rome. It was a, you know, a very important component of 2,000 years of Christian civilization, which now, of course, we're mostly rejected. And even though legally you're still only allowed to marry one person. Having sex outside of marriage is now completely socially permissible, and so people are in practice being drawn back towards our species norm, having lifted the monogamous restriction. But I argue in the book, and I think I think really strongly, that that monogamous restriction produces much better outcomes, particularly for women and for low-status men. But there are all sorts of ways in which monogamous cultures do better than polygynous cultures. Lower crime rates, lower domestic violence rates. Where you get these statistics from? You know, all sorts of good outcomes that come with insisting on monogamous me. All right. That was a whole bunch of book. Be yeah. gone, well, the, the funniest part, though, was what she said. High value men <laughs> have right. multiple wives and low, low, low value men have, have no none. wives. Right. So most of the uh, black community. Oh, those are low value men. Right. <laughs> Ain't no doubt so about they, it. So they walking around here, low value men with, with multiple women. They not married to him. <laughs> Bro, I don't care <laughs> if, <laughs> even for Cam Newton, I don't care if you got $3 million, $30 million. You still nothing in this society. Right, right bro. Right. Right. You don't, right. Like, that is nothing. You don't own anything, bro. Right. Nothing. You might think you do, and you may even be able to get away with it because of a status that they gave you. Right. So that you can further the agenda in, that, in our community. Right. But you're nothing. Right, right. You're no different than that brother down the damn block who ain't got who ain't got a damn how a pot to piss in or wanted to throw it out of because the only reason that some of these brothers celebrities or the reason any of these celebrities have the status that they do is because America has has set them up right, in some right. partic particular way, shape, or form. But this uh, Edomite, right? You know they always been nasty ass people. Facts. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, Cap, I like how this either might try to separate herself from her own heritage. She was yeah, like, right. you know, right. that that's was something that, that, that wrong. wrong. Right. Like, yeah. like it wasn't you her. You are wrong. Exactly. What are you talking yeah. about? Exactly. You are wrong. You better shut your white mouth. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but it just it just shows you. But even if you go online, did we look? Are there any uh, uh, Edomite polygamous communities? They got a, they got a big one. Um, but the dude got 85 wives. Oh, he shit. got 85 wives. Well, let me find hey, it real quick. Before y'all go, <laughs> let's touch on that culture right quick. Because, you know, they try to pretend that they come from such culture and, yeah. and everything, you know. They built they, civilizations. Yeah, right. So I, I got to always bring them back to the reality of where out. they come from. So give me Job 30 and 5. <laughs> <laughs> bring it out. I got to bring it back. I, got, I, like, I like real history, you know. And they like rewriting history. You know, that's what they do. Read that. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 5. They were driven forth from among men. So they was driven forth from amongst men, you know, men that had culture, men that had class. We had to get rid of them. Read. They cried after them as after a thief. We chased them away like they done stole something. Read. Read to dwell in the cliffs of the rock. Where the did valleys. they stand? Where did they live at? To dwell in the cliffs of the valley. They weren't in no high mansions and stuff like that. It was in the cliffs of the rocks. That's your original <laughs> caveman. Eating right. lice that, off each other. Right. That's, right. that's, that's Barney. They go uh, Barney and Fred right there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they was living in the cliffs of the rocks. Damn Flintstones. Right. Your original caveman. That's where they come from. But they, they, they like you said, they try to uh, set themselves in a higher status as though they developed civilization and the things that they the things that they push on us is pure. Right. You know, it's good, it's it's good to walk down the street and just have sex 
in the middle of the street. Like that's that's totally right. fine. Mm-hmm. Hey, just so uh, the black man can get it, they didn't have toiletries in them caves. You understand? <laughs> they had no running water in those Bro, caves. In in Rome, they 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 um they sewer system was crazy. They used to. Take dumps uh, like in, in the little bathhouses, uh, disgusting, yo. Yeah. So the bubonic plague came from in like the 1300s, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, they yeah. didn't so have that good system. Women having high heel shoes was created because all the manure that was in the that's roads. Right. That's that's right. how it was created. Yes. Dang. Hold on. I ain't this... know that. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. 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 Is this the Edomite with 85 wives? Who is this? I, I think so. Yeah, that's him. That's him. That ain't 85, but that's a lot of a lot of. <laughs> it is a lot of Edom. That's a lot of Edom. Hell no. Nah. What in the hell? He had that cult, didn't he? Yeah, he had that yeah, cult. That's that crazy dude. So they called it a cult. It was a cult. Mm. 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 So black mm. black people want to be in the cult. That's a video? <laughs> let's play it. Let's play it. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I posted a video on the show. Right? Realize, young ladies, the best thing is to leave your life in the hands of God through his prophet. America's scariest cult is in a small town in Arizona, where child trafficking, arranged marriage, and having multiple wives is the norm. No, because I ended up with 35 siblings. This town is ruled by the F. Hold on, wait a minute. Thank you. (laughs) He ended up with 35 (laughs) siblings. That's that. That's now. Now that's Edom. We don't give a damn about Edom. But when you turn around and you uh, uh, apply that to our community, Mm, right. 35 siblings. Right, and that's that's what they did. It turned a boy into a harlot. Exactly. And in the breeding camps and things of that nature. That's that goes back to that Leviticus 19, 29, mm-hmm. when the land falls to hold them. Right, right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. Play on. Or the fundamentalist church of Latter-day Saints, the most extreme branch of Mormonism. Its members idolize a man named Warren Jeffs, a religious leader on the FBI's most wanted list, who is now serving a life sentence in prison for sex crimes against children. I want to learn more about the dark side of polygamy in America, so I'm driving to the FLDS headquarters right now to talk to survivors and expose the truth. Dude, look weird as hell. That's the damn devil right there. I'm kicking off this story in my home. Anyway. That's crazy. Like I say, it's always a dark side. Right. Yeah. You understand? It's you a see, dark side. And this, and this is what Jake want. This is Jake meaning you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. This is what they want. They see this, and, and you know, we take wickedness to the next level. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Any wickedness in our hands, we we explore that thing to the heights of, that's what Solomon did. Right. Mm-hmm. Solomon, wanted, he got involved in their wickedness, and he said, you know what? How wicked can I be with this? Let me explore this thing. And at the end of the day, he realized, damn, it's all all, folly. It was all vain. It's all vain. It's vanity. You understand? But we see this type of lifestyle right here and want to take it to that that level, not knowing the effect it's going to have on our children and on our community. And we've destroyed everything. With, the, with, with just being a damn whoremonger, with sleeping woman to woman, not even being in a polygamous right, relationship, right, right, right. it's destroyed just going from woman to woman. Right. Man, rod to rod. Sisters going rod to rod. It's destroyed. Right. Hey, who's, who's this brother right here? I think we watched some of this one. These some simp, some yeah. simple ass sisters too. Right. <laughs> they do it because he cheated too much. Right. So he, unbelievable. Poly Nation is garbage, bro. <laughs> right. You know, when he said, um, the dark side, listen, these all these wives they have, they eventually start having children, and these children start growing up, right. and then you wonder how they fell into d- dealing with children. Because that's what right. he went to right. jail that, for, that, dealing with children. The spirit right. behind right. Yeah. Stuff. Right. And next thing you know, you're sitting there marrying your daughter and right. stuff like that. That's why he went to jail. There was oh, a dude recently. Stuff. Talking about the Edomite Nature at that show? Nature Boy, yeah. Nature yeah. Boy is the, the dude wow. who had that polyamorous, poly, polygamous uh, right. campground, whatever. Black dude. Yeah. He just got thrown in jail. Oh, yeah, yeah, Nature Same Boy. Same judgment. Nature Boy. Hey, Nature. Pull, hey pull up, pull up, uh, Nature Boy. We're going to play him, right? Hey, why you it's looking for spirit. it? That's like, right. Why, 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 why you looking for it? Get Sirach, uh, verse, uh, chapter 23, verse 20, I mean, verse 17. They pull up the right quick. He probably said he got stabbed in prison. The book of Sirach, chapter 23, and verse 17. All bread. It's sweet to a whoremonger. And that's what happens. They, like I said, they start looking at their children. They start becoming teenagers. And all bread is sweet to a whoremonger. Read. Right. He will not leave off till he die. And that's what happens. The next thing you know, you're getting locked up serving life in prison because, you know what? Damn. You can't differentiate between evil and good. Right. 
That's what like happened. It's, it's a demon that he can't stop doing it. Right. right. Hey, I remember so this crazy. so crazy. I mm-hmm. think uh, PSR had a uh, a show a, one, a while back with this dude on it. Yep, uh, they did. Ah, uh, yeah, this dude. That's yeah, he was. Dude. This the dude that said he walk around with his with his junk out. Yeah, around his yeah, kids. around his kids. Right. Yeah. right. Hey, you a weirdo, what? bro. Yeah, I make love. I'll bring the sweet to him. Yeah. What we talking about? Right. Your earrings. And this one, sisters, won't. You mean to tell me, bro? That, that's crazy. That's what they consider high value. What? That's freaking ridiculous. You re- in touch you with his you are a retard, bro. Can we play it? They slow. <laughs> don't even be in the three. It says F y'all trying to torture the three. Because y'all being weird. And I'm really at the point right now in my life where I really don't want no weird shit around me, my nigga. I need some real threes around me, nigga. I need real niggas around me. I need some real bitches around me. Nigga, I'm free. I'm three, nigga. I'm the three guy. Y'all want to embarrass me? I'm going to embarrass y'all. I promise you I'm the three guy. So and nigga, I'll be by my three. I was always so by look, my three. I'm hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Who he talking he got to? his wives and yeah. husbands. Yeah, 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 about to say yeah, yeah. So he's too. gay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. There it is. Right. What? Wait, 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 wait. I had to read it. Wait, wait, I had to wait, read wait, it too. Wait, 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 I thought it was just the women wait. at first. Wait, hold on. What did I say? Nature Boy threatens to kick his wives and husbands. Oh, hell no, man. Right. Man. I, had, I had to read it like, what? Yeah. You mean to tell Because I was wondering why a dude was in the picture. Bro, <laughs> we done fell low, low, man, low man. as people, bro. We he's slow. Got, so he's cussing out his wives <laughs> and yeah. his husbands. Yeah. That's crazy. We're ready right to zone. kick them all out. Hey, go ahead, press play, please. What is going on in America? <laughs> Need some real yeah. bitches around him. <laughs> <laughs> press play. I'm three because y'all motherfuckers ain't three in with me. Y'all acting like y'all three in with me, and then the camera come on, y'all start acting fucking weird as fuck. Y'all think I don't catch that shit? Oh, he lied. Y'all probably need a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Listen. Y'all give a fuck. Y'all weird. Y'all really weird. And that's probably why y'all came to me, because I got so much swag. So that y'all seen that I got swag, and y'all want to come in my life and be like, I want to what he had. I want, give me two shots of what he had. All right, that's give enough. That's 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 look, at, look at that silly woman, bro. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, in the video, he tell everybody, get on their knees. And they get on their knees. In this video? Yes. Go to the wow. Go to the end of Go to the end of I want to see how simple our people is. No, go, oh, yeah, yeah, go yeah, back, go, go back. I said wow. Hold on, now go back, go back. Right, right here, yeah. I got your motherfucking three, and that's all the fucking thing you mad at me. Three, 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 three. Bitch, that's all that Y'all giving me y'all three, y'all gonna work for me. Y'all all work for me. Y'all, matter of fact, damn, on your knees. What Fuck the hell is going on? Hey. Stand up around Bruh. I see more niggas in that video, <laughs> right? Yeah. I see more niggas that's in that dope. video. And uh, why the hell does this dude got on earrings like he going to prom or some shit? Bro. <laughs> King Senyera. Man, you can't. Hey, Cap, you said something. You said we have gotten low. Give me Jeremiah chapter 2. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Jeremiah 2. It's 21. a precept. Man, listen, bro. Oh, man. Bro. Wow. We are truly in astonishment. Yes. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 21. Yet I planted thee a noble vine. We supposed to be noble. We supposed to show nobility. The laws that we got, those peculiar laws that make the other nations say, damn, we really can't mess with these people. Those, that's what we supposed to show. Right. But, read on. Holy, a right seed. We are supposed to be a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant? Of a strange vine unto me. How have we become a degenerate? This is a question, meaning it is a, it's mind-boggling. Right, right, right. right. How have y'all become a, a degenerate plant? Something that is degenerate means it gets worse and worse and worse right. and worse and worse. I'm, exactly. It, That's it, what it, happened to us people. Right. I'm going to back him up on that. Get Sirach 22 and verse 9. Because Real? that in, in degenerate goes de, uh, generations. So we were just talking about how it's going to affect the children. Children are going to come out of this foolishness of a relationship. So what's going to happen to the children? How can we fix that? Go ahead, read that. Sirach chapter 22 and verse 9. Go ahead. If children live honestly. Stop right there. How can children learn to live honestly if their parents is in the midst of uh, folly and sin? 
Right. Right. They won't ever learn to <laughs> live honestly. They're right. going to say, well, well, uh, uh, daddy is now my husband, which is my uncle's friend. Right. It's going to be all kind of madness and confusion. confusion. Read on. And have wherewithal. And this goes back into Cam Newton's clip, where he's not going to be able to give that frequency of time to his children to make sure that they, they're growing in the virtues that help them live honestly. Read on. They shall cover the baseness mm. of their parents. That's why an ungodly man will never be able to teach his children how to fear the Lord because it's going to be a whole bunch of confusion. But read the next part. But children being haughty. Children being raised in the midst of sin. Read. Through disdain and want of nurture. So these children that we bring forth into this earth are actually desiring discipline that comes from the Lord. Right. They're actually right. desiring the commandments, which is their heritage. But when we don't give that to them through upright living and living honestly, what'll happen? Do stain the nobility of their kindred. So not uh, good decisions actually exalt your parents, but bad decisions make the whole nation look bad. Yeah, that, that becomes a degenerate plant. That degenerate, a plant. degenerate plant. Now, as a nation, we are that degenerate plant. Bro, I have never seen this. Yeah, I've never seen that. Clip. I ain't never. God said he watched the whole thing. Shout out to you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we got it. We got it. Got sent to us in the text thread. I ain't gonna say no oh, names or okay. point no elbows. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Okay. Drop. Ooh. Drop nature, boy. And he. You say he went. He went to prison. Yeah. Yeah. He called everybody else weird in the video. They threw up them threes. Throwing up the threes. They threw right. Three, 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 three. What in the world is going on? Oh, hell no. You cannot make this up, man. Y'all weird. Yeah, Yeah, y'all weird. Nigga, you weird. Exactly. With them damn fork earrings in his damn Bro, that's wild. Bro, that's crazy. All right, let's 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 play this one. <laughs> look, look, Cap, yeah. Cap just took all the energy. He like, yeah. hey, what is next? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you, Polly, Polly. Hey, I'm Tisha. Hi, I'm Jasmine. And we're all dating the same man. Y'all all stupid as hell. Press point. Thank I'm Jerome, and this is Jasmine. Oh, been hold on, was they wearing the same outfit? Right. Yes. God. That dude's yes. feminine too. Yeah, he gay too. He gay too. Start it back over. Hi, I'm Deja. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hey, I'm Tisha. Hi, I'm Jasmine. And we're all dating the same man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jerome, and this is Jasmine. We've been together six years. He slid in my DM on Facebook. And she slid in my room after that. My relationship history before me and Big Jazz was... Yeah, you cheated. I used to cheat so you much, cheated. so I ended up cheating. <laughs> and then when I realized, like, this girl ain't playing like all the other women, I ended up getting the back. But when Deja came in, it was just more of threesomes. And then Deja and Jasmine, they decided that they wanted to bring somebody else in. That's when we brought in T-Bird. We got baby jazz. I do feel like once you do poly with the right people, you would never want to go back. Hi, I'm Dave. Okay. Hi. Okay. Okay. Hold him. It's hold him, bro. Hold him. It's hold him, man. This is sad. I'm telling yeah. you, just this is really sad. It's disgusting. It's just, it's disgusting, yeah. bro. It just shows you that our people have really settled for nothing. Right. right, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Because because of the condition that we're in, and because of wanting wanting more, nothing. This is the more. This is what we should want. Right. But you want to? They want to use this to set up polygamy, but not do what's recorded in it. Right. Mm -hmm. That don't make no damn sense to me. <laughs> and then, don't make no sense to me. So he was dating her. Cheated yeah. on her multiple times. Multiple times before right. she just said, "You know what? It is what it is. Let me go get another female to bring into the relationship right. to stop him from cheating." Because that's what it was. Well, he brought her. Yeah, in. Oh, he man. brought the second girl in, and then the two girls brought, brought the this, third right. girl. And show how stupid she is Thanks, because she, he cheated on her. He said he realized she wasn't playing, wasn't so playing. he got her back. And then he brought another girl in, and she stayed. Right. She's a right. dummy. She's but a she's dummy. gay too. They all right. dummies. They ain't gay. They right. all dummies. And all it, it all it turned into was, like you say, they wanted to they wanted to experiment with each other. And once they mm -hmm. once they experimented and that that they started indulging and loving the evil, they wanted to invite some damn body else in. Yep. Yep. That's it. This is retarded. A poly nation is the destruction of our future. Right.
Simple as that. That polygamy, that the, that polygamy lifestyle, that 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 is not of God. And Polly, if you follow that, you stupid. Like you, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> right. You stupid. Hey, right. We didn't even speak on it because we had we didn't even look into it. Just something come to mind. Like you imagine. So he's with four different women. Imagine how many abortions came out of that. Mm. Right. Right. Bro. STDs. Right. You ain't saying none of them got pregnant. You know what pregnant. I mean? Right. The Bible tells you don't stumble at the beauty of a woman. And that dude uncut flips, you know. Yeah. And that's what happened. You fall straight into death. Right. Dang. Let me get the script on that. Yep, go ahead. Uh, Ezekiel 16 and verse 30. This is what we're seeing when we have all these uh, women joining themselves to these uh, simp-ass men who... Just take advantage of them. Let's see that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 16 and verse 30. Go ahead. How weak is thine heart? Read that again. How weak is thine heart? One more time. How weak is thine heart? So that just goes to show, in these polyamorous, polygamous relationships, they actually have self-esteem issues. Right. Mm -hmm. Those women don't see themselves as fit to be the only wife to that husband or that man. Mm -hmm. That man say, I need this many women to actually feel like I'm... Fulfilling my role in this earth. He don't they don't know their purpose. How weak is thine heart? Read. Saith the Lord God. Go ahead. Seeing thou doest all these things. Go ahead. The work of an imperious, whorish woman. So let's get the definition of imperious. Imperious. <laughs> let's get the the word uh, all phrases. Let's get the definition of imperious. What does imperious mean? What type of women are mm. putting on these whorish acts that we see in, in the midst of polygamy? Let's read that. Imperious is an adjective. Assuming power or authority without justification. Arrogant or domineering. So, in a nutshell, all of this is vain. Right. It's going nowhere. It's going to lead nowhere. That's why we will have a... There is, to be presumed, a lot of abortions coming through that thing. Because nothing comes out of it. The justification right. of them doing that is for self-fulfillment, which mm -hmm. is nothing. It's going to turn to nothing. And then it doesn't even bring forth a righteous family. Right. So we don't even hear about righteous things. And look at the out. look at the synonyms. The, I mean, yeah, the synonyms is crazy. An imperious women. That's the most I describe in our sisters. Read some of those synonyms, man. Synonyms: commanding, mm. overbearing, domineering, authoritarian. Black woman. Right. Dictatorial. <laughs> Black woman. Dictatorial. Black woman. Authorito uh, authoritative. 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 Damn. <laughs> Assertive. <laughs> Go ahead. Dominated. Oh, read Lordly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lordly. 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 You passed the Lordly. Oh, one. man. Hey. Lordly. That is the black woman. She she want, she's she's the Lord over our community. Right. Mm -hmm. And these are the type of women that, that succumb to that that um pollination thing because they feel empowered. Like they're making the decisions and things of that nature. And it just, this is crazy, man. Crazy. Bush. Yeah. Once the independent woman lifestyle don't work out for them, they say, I at least need to get with some other bullish women or bossy right. women and let's go get us a man to help take care of us. Yeah. So you know you no longer independent. Further further in the destruction of our community. Right. Like we find we find the most devious ways to continue to put us in deeper into the damn right. hole, a black hole. Right. Hey, let me get hey. uh what you got? I'm gonna say go back in that chapter and jump up to verse 14. Because mm. it's speaking about Israel. Look what it says. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, and verse 14. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for so thy we beauty. Know, we know that the black woman is praised all throughout the earth for her beauty. Right. For her thickness, big lips, big hips. Read. For it was perfect through my comeliness, uh -huh. which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord God. Read. But thou didst trust in thy own beauty, uh -huh. and playedest the harlot because of thy renown. And pourest out thy fornications on everyone that passed by. So that beauty just turned our women into whores. They want to right. share it. They don't care how they dress. They want everybody to see their nakedness. They want everybody to see their lewdness. They don't care about having children out of wedlock. They don't care about aborting children if they have it. Hey, our lewdness, our weakness just spread because we trust in our beauty. Right, right. And I bet you they go to church. They do. Hey, I bet Pretty you they're sure. Christians. I, I bet you they're Christians and they go to church. <laughs> Hey, let me get uh I just did to put, look that up. Just to put a hammer. <laughs> did, did they go to church? They did have polygamy in these Christian churches. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And let's see what the Bible say. Let's get uh first Corinthians. I mean, uh, you already hit first Corinthians. Let's get uh first Timothy. 
three and two because the brother mentioned earlier a high value, a high value man. Well, there's nothing more high value than a right. A, a, a high value man is a righteous man. Right. right. A high value man is a man of the Lord that keeps the charge of the Lord. <laughs> That's a high value man. That's right. So let's go through some of the characteristics that the Bible in the New Testament says a high value man should have. Uh, verse 2. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless. A bishop is a high value man. Right. He follows the laws of God. He keeps the commandments of God. He teaches his children the commandments of God. He teaches his wife the commandments of God. Read. The husband of one wife. No, the husband of multiple wives. Of one wife. No, the, hus the, the, the husband of husbands and wives. The husband of one wife. Because they was looking at nature, boy. <laughs> right. Like he was a high value man. Right. Three, 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 three. Three, 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 three. Three dummies. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, we laugh at nature, boy, but listen. Some of you Israelites out there think yep. the same. Yeah, 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 right. Right. Yeah. Break it out. There's a whole community of y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Better cut that out. Read that again. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife. You're supposed to have one wife as the as this high value man. Come on. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. He should be sober. Of good behavior. Good behavior goes into that even, even sexual morality. Right. Come on. Given to hospitality. Uh -huh. Apt to teach. Mm. Not given to wine. No striker. Not greedy of filthy lucre. But patient. Not a brawler. Now jump to verse 12. Verse 12. Because all. Because as you read down, it's just going into all the characteristics of a high-value man. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what it's going into. Right. Now, and go ahead. Nature Boy had all of the, the opposite effects. <laughs> exactly. Of right. these, these qualities listed here. Exactly. Uh, verse 12. Verse 12. Let the deacons be husbands. Be a deacon is a high-value man. Right. right. Come on. Let the deacons be husbands of one wife. Multiple wives. One wife. Husbands and wives. One wife. One damn wife. Right. Since you want to follow the Bible. Right. Come on. Ruling their children. Ruling what? Their children. Ruling their children from his one wife. Right. Come on. And their own houses well. In their own houses well. Not the husband of husbands who got wives in their houses. Right. This, right. The, it, make it make sense to me. You can't make this make sense. <laughs> it would never make sense. Hey, Cap, can we read another example of a high value? Yes, sir. Yeah. Get Hebrews chapter 11. Bring it and read out. Verse, start at verse 24. This is what a high value man is supposed to do. This is how a high value man is supposed to behave mm -hmm. himself. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 24. Mm -hmm. By faith, Moses. Moses. This is a high value man. Read. When he was come to years, mm -hmm. refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He refused... That worldly nobility, that worldly name. He right. said, Put, get that thing away from me. Right. Why? Read. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. To serve the Lord. He would rather serve the Lord and be afflicted with his people, read, than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Than mm -hmm. to enjoy the pleasures of sin. Right. Because let's keep it hot. This whole thing is revolving around Pleasure. Is right. it? Yep. All right. of these brothers and sisters that are involved in this polyamory and this polygamy, they all are just trying to get their rocks off. That's all they're doing. It. That's it. Right. It's pleasurable, but it's sin. Right. That's the point. We're supposed to want to put that thing away from us. Right. Exactly. Hey, Titus chapter 1 and verse 6. Titus 1 and 6. Because we we talking about high value men. This is the book of Titus, chapter 1 and verse 6. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife. The husband of what? One wife. If you be blameless, you the husband of one wife. Come on. Having faithful children. Having what? Faithful children. Come on. Not accused of riot or unruly. Not accused of riot or unruly. Now, you mean to tell me if you in this poly relationship and you got 35 siblings... 35 siblings. Right. That they not going to be unruly. Right. You got three kids over here from this woman. 
Yep. Three over here from this woman. Five over here from this woman. Another damn five over here from this woman. All of these women have an emotional connection to their child. Right. 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 To right. their child. Not to your child. Y'all might be in this relationship together, but she still is going to have a special connection to her children. Right. Now, you got her children, this mother right here with the affections for her children. As these children grow up, these mothers are not teaching them the exact same thing. Right. You can guarantee there's, di there's, there's different doctrines being taught to these children. That's going to cause them to be unruly. Right. Riots. Mm -hmm. Right. Confusion. It's gonna be taking place in there. There's no way you can be, you are blameless in a poly relationship. You are against God. Simple as that. You're right. a whoremonger, you're breaking God's commandments, and you're gonna die unless you change. So That's okay. Right. In that situation, we, uh, the script we brought out with Solomon, it said that his wives brought him into subjection exactly. rather than him having his household in exactly. subjection. Exactly. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Can I so, back you up on that, Cap? Yeah, bring, bring it out. Yeah, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. I told you it's going to be a long day for Polly's. <laughs> right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 11. Start at 11. We're going to read down. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture, he is miserable. Y'all miserable. Mm, right. Y'all are really miserable. That's why y'all making up ways to try to pleasure yourselves. Go ahead. And their hope is vain. You're vain. Go ahead. Their labor's unfruitful. Mm -hmm. And their work's unprofitable. Go ahead. Their wives. Their what? Their wives. Your multiple wives. Mm. Go ahead. Are foolish. They don't. Go right. ahead. <laughs> and their children, wicked. And your children, wicked. Go ahead. Their offspring is cursed. So, like, Cap was bringing out, when he was bringing it out, how there's no way they can properly bring these kids up. So they're bringing them up cursed because they cannot teach them what God wants them to do. So they're right. going to be jacked up. 100%. Go ahead. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled. But it said it's better if you couldn't even have kids. Go ahead. Which have not known the sinful bed. Uh-huh. She shall have a fruit in the visitation of souls. Jump down to 16 now. Verse 16. As for the children of adulterers. Uh-huh. They shall not come to their perfection. Uh -huh. And the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. So that's, they, they will never come to be at their full potential. Those children will never grow to that. Right. right. Never grow. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For though they live long. So some of them might live long. Go ahead. Yet shall they be nothing regarded. Nobody going to care nothing about them. Right. They're not going to have no confidence. They're going to keep perpetuating the same mess that everybody else is doing. Go ahead. And their last age shall be without honor. So because we reject God, God is rejecting our children. Go ahead. Or if they die quickly. They might not even make it to old age. Go ahead. They have no hope. Ain't no kingdom for them. Right. Ain't no kingdom ain't. for them. Go ahead. Neither comfort in the day of trial. They, said they ain't got no comfort in the day of trial when they stand before the most high. Go ahead. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. And that's what our people are creating. An unrighteous generation. Right. Hey, to back you up, that's exactly what you went into with uh Nathan. Right. Yep. Uh uh hey, uh in uh second Samuel twelve. Right. Second Samuel twelve. Let's read uh let me see. Let's read shall I read thirteen? Let me see. They wanted Bible. Right. They get yeah, it. Children <laughs> the Bible. Let's start at verse twelve. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 12, and verse 12. Yeah. For though thou didst it secretly, but I will do this thing before all Israel and before the son. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. He did what? Sinned against the Lord. Come on. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord also hath put away thy sin. Thou shalt not die. How be it? How be it? Because by this deed thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme. Mm. The child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. This goes with what you just said about them, about right. these kids. Mm. The Lord said the child is going to die. He's going to put the child to death. Read verse 15. Verse 15. And Nathan departed unto his house, and the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bare unto David, and it was very sick. Come on. David therefore besought God for the child. And David fasted and went in and lay all night upon the earth. Come on. 
And the elders of his house arose and went to him to raise him up from the earth. But he would not. Neither did he eat bread with them. Because he was so heartbroken about what was going to happen to this child mm -hmm. that he fathered through Nathan's wife. Right. Come on. You're right. Uh, yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. And it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died. And the servants of David feared to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we spake unto him, and he would not hearken unto our voice. How will then he vex himself if we tell him that the child is dead? Mm. But when David saw that his servants whispered, David perceived that the child was dead. Therefore David said unto his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. Then David arose from the earth and washed and anointed himself and changed his apparel and came into the house of the Lord and worshiped. Then he came to his own house. And when he had required, they set bread before him. That's all they want. The whole point is, go back and going back to what you just pulled. These child, these children, they got a they, they got a limitation on them. Right. Like mm -hmm. they can never reach their full potential. This child ain't get a, ain't even have a ain't stand a chance. Right. 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 Hey, go ahead. Look at look at chapter thirteen. I just want the first verse. And look at the confusion amongst the children. First or the second verses. This this is the offspring right. of right. having multiple wives. And look at these bugged out kids. Read that. <laughs> Second Samuel chapter 13 and verse 1. Okay. And it came to pass after this that Absalom, the son of David. Absalom, the son of David, read. Had a fair sister. There had to be a child of David as well, read. Whose name was Tamar. Go ahead. And Amnon, the son of David. Amnon, loved, the son of David, did what? Loved her. He loved. He loved her. <laughs> His own sister. His own, His own sister, bro. sister. Oh, yeah. He loved her. Yeah. But I love her, man. <laughs> That's just madness, bro. Yeah. And then, then you read down. We didn't have to go through all the history, but Absalom ends up killing his own brother because right. of what he did to his their sister. sister. Right. Yeah. This right. is the confusion. It's crazy. Polygamy is, like you said, crazy. polygamy or polynation or whatever the hell your sin is. This is the evil that it causes amongst our community. Right. So if you are a polygamist, and you still think that you desire to be a polygamist, you can fix yourself. Right. Or not. Right. But and you will be judged. But I want to make some observations. That, that script was too heavy because yeah, you got to look crazy. at things right. that we recognize. What about the children of Wilt Chamberlain? Didn't some of them get strong out on drugs? Yeah. Look at the yep. children of Magic Johnson. Right. Yeah, they bugged the hell out. <laughs> he got children, but the one that's the star is the six foot nine Negro woman. Born, yeah, boy girl turned into a boy <laughs> or a woman. Boy girl, right? What about <laughs> Will Smith and Jada Smith with oh, all the entanglements man. and all this other sexual immorality? Bugged, bugged out. They children have become bugged mm -hmm. out. So, Cam Newton, you our brother. You might want to rethink what you're doing, right? right. Because everything we bringing out is for our people to repent. But hey. If our people don't see it. For themselves, they're gonna be a, 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 an example of the destruction. They're gonna be an example. What it you was, got, Kai? I, I think I was. Excited. Well, what's scary is that Cam Newton he gets millions of views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, all yeah. of this is just advertisement for that lifestyle when he says stupid nonsense. So basically, he's so he's selling his soul. Yep, to, they, yep. to perpetuate foolishness in our community to keep us down. Keep us in sin. And I'm, they know exactly what he's doing. Go I'm ahead. glad you said that. Perfect segue. Can we go back to Wisdom of Solomon? Yes. Because I'm not done calling these women dumb. <laughs> and these <laughs> niggas Bring it out, stupid. God. Bring it out. And evil. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, Officer Kassad just said. With Cam Newton and his millions of followers and that perpetuating this evil. Was in Solomon chapter four and verse twelve. Uh -huh. For the bewitching of naughtiness, it's witchcraft. The right. bewitching of naughtiness. When they get uh, naughtiness, when they get on that social media, they know a bunch of people watching it. Right. Them TikTok shorts. You talk about it all the time. I was like, them TikTok shorts, man. Them Bro, YouTube shorts. They get this stuck. Stuck. man. Yeah. So all of these people are consuming this content of this foolishness. Yes, sir. Is this naughtiness? That's bewitching them. They like, damn, I want to do that. I want to try that. Now they nudging their wife. They nudging their husband. Can we try this? Right, right. Read. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest. It warps the things mm. that are right. Right. Now you don't know, you can't differentiate good from bad. They over here talking about, hey, it's natural for us right. to be right. polyamorous. Right. right. It's natural for us to deal with multiple men and multiple women. We no, it's done. not. <laughs> no, the hell it's not. That's right. It is a that's a bald faced lie. Right. Exactly. And the wandering of concupiscence. There it is. It's concupiscence. Right. 
Right. All of that sexual lust, mm -hmm. devious mm -hmm. sexual desire, Reed. Dub undermine the simple mind. If you a dumbass, you gonna fall for it. Right. You gonna love it. Hey, right. the polygamous, the, 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 the polygamous community, they don't understand what the word concupiscence is. They don't. We need to look that up. And, and let that, yeah, you need to look, look up concupiscence and you give say, them say that thing three times. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Three, 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 three. Three dumbasses. <laughs> All right, let's read that. Definition of concupiscence, mm. strong sexual desire. That's all mm. that being a polygamist that's, that's is. All it is. Dang. That's Dang. all being a polygamist is. Mm. The Bible <laughs> literally is telling you that to be a polygamist means that you have a strong sexual desire. Right. You got the right. devil on you. But you should, right. Have, right. you should have that strong sexual desire for one woman. Right. For one man. Right. Uh oh. Go ahead, go ahead, Marshawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hold on. Let's hit the let's let's hit the uh, synonyms. Come yeah, on, hey. synonyms. Lust. L what? Lust. Mm. Lustfulness. Hey, read so into your mic, bro. Sorry. Lust. Lustfulness. Sexual longing. Desire. Sexual oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Sexual appetite. longing. <laughs> sexual <laughs> appetite. Johnny right. says mm. the hots. Let <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Lechery. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. We read that in the Salaciousness. Uh-huh. Horniness. Lewdness. You skipped that, <laughs> right. huh? Carnality. Raunchiness. Raunchiness. Dang, I ain't heard that in a long time. Right, raunchy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my mom used to call my brother that. Uh, raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He used to call his ass Lil Raunchy. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Raunchy. Raunchy. <laughs> she knew he was managed. That was another word, man. <laughs> Lil Raunchy. God dang. Carnality. The hots. <laughs> The hots. <laughs> the horn. The horn. Solicity. No, that's, 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 that's Horniness. Hey, the, the, <laughs> the, whole, the, the whole thing is this wandering of concupiscence, this evil sexual desire, this strong desire for lust, mm -hmm. for uh, sexual longing, that's all polygamy is. Right. But what you got, Marshawn? With while we in wisdom of Solomon, it's going down in wisdom while of Solomon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 5, verse 7. <laughs> the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 7. Freedom. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. That, that's what concupiscence is. Mm -hmm. Wickedness and destruction. Read on. Yay, we have gone through deserts. And, and guess what? Some of them deserts might be these women's boxes. <laughs> they brothers yeah. wandering back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Now, hey, that desert dried the hell up, too. Right. Dry, that's why she got to go find her another man. Blowing and in the wind. All right. <laughs> go, read the next part, because that's... <laughs> Go ahead, read the next part. Where they lay, no way. Where they lay, no way, read. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. That's why I can't, right. I'm going to go right back to Cam Newton's initial statement. Well, we lost in translation. Because you're getting lost in box. That's no, what happened. Yeah, because he's wandering. Because he's a what? Dang. Because Want, because, Cam, because Cam Newton is a what? A dumbass. A dumbass. Dumb dumb oh, that, that, that's the word of the day. Can we put a word of the day? We word of the day. We got to get a word of the day. Dumbass. Dumbass. Dumb dumb what the hell is wrong with you? A damn dumbass. You know what that wandering is, too? Wandering is all of that extra stuff that you right. find yourself getting into. Yeah. Right, right. First, you started with multiple wives. Now, the nigga, you got husbands. Exactly. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. bro. And they all Green. got down on their floor with the three, with the three, 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 three. With the bro, three. that is some serious ah. manipulation right, right there, bro. Yeah, then, that is some powerful niggardry right there, bro. <laughs> then we see it turns over Man, to a powerful. lust for children. Yeah, right. it turns into Man. a lust for children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, uh, are we done beating polygamists across the head? Yeah, we can. Get we yeah. show mercy. Uh, we done. We done <laughs> until next week. Cause uh, the, the hope is that we you, all thought about it. Yeah, right, 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 right. A couple more. Hey, don't fire back now. Hey, don't don't shoot no don't shoot no shots back. Cause we ain't done. We got a whole lot of scriptures right, right here. Right, right, right. <laughs> we making anyway, a video about it next week. Yeah. But anyway, back into uh, well, switch, switching the, the the train of thought. Uh, what's that right there? Oh, it, it might Hold not on. be over. Uh, we, what was that? We ain't showed a simple. Oh, we ain't yeah, showed, yeah, yeah. we showed a woman that had the multiple husbands. Oh God, play that. I think yeah. It's there's there. a woman with. Yeah. There's a woman yeah. with multiple husbands. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Here Jesus. she go right here. She got two oh, husbands. Man. All of this Jeez. stuff. Uh, what about the next? One yeah. husband and two boyfriends. Yeah. 
And watch how they look. That's the that's the funny part is how they look. <laughs> he walked in the wow. room. What <laughs> is this? Yeah. yeah. You, you look cool. Cannot make All this right. up. <laughs> oh my God! Baby! Baby! <laughs> <laughs> you see the brothers' faces. <laughs> Come in. You can't tell I'm me so they're not hating on that nigga. That's what I'm saying. Awesome. <laughs> they mad that they, they, they mad that each other there. Hold on, what'd he say, Quint? That's crazy. Beta! He said that was his first time he met this Beta! Dude. My first time meeting David. I'm um, not sure what to expect. Hey. David? Hey, what's up, man? Hey? Carl. What's happening? Oh, man. It's been years. <laughs> Almost a decade, you know what I'm saying? Come and on, this man. is Tiger, Tiger David. I don't know about you, man. Uh, you, man. Uh, you want to say that height? Y'all want? The brotherhood is together! No, just like, have a seat. Let me take your bag. Sure. You know, Kendall was very giddy. And we haven't really old seen her boy. in that state in a, in a while. Yeah. Uh, kind of like tripping over herself. It puts me a little on edge because I'm suddenly being moved out of Kenya's bedroom just as another person <laughs> is suddenly coming <laughs> back into her life. So look, she brought, a, she so brought the new wrong. dude in and the dude She's that like, was currently sleeping right. in her room. <laughs> hey, don't sleep on the couch, dude. Uh, right. Damn. Bro. Eviction notice. So she put... She put one rod, uh, yeah. one rod out the bed. Yeah, it brought the new dude another in. Another rod in. Yeah, and he like it's coincidence that I was just put out of the room didn't as the Spike, new person comes in. Didn't Spike Lee do? She's yeah. got to have it. Yeah. Ain't yeah. that this? Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. that's exactly yeah. what she looked like. Yes, that's yeah. He can't make this up. See, we this couldn't let the black alone. woman get away Hold thinking right. thinking you ain't we ain't seeing you doing this to these and these simple men out here, man. You is a hoe. <laughs> For real, you is a hoe, 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 hoe. I see that you's a hoe. Ho. Ho. See, we don't need sound bites right here. Yeah. You mean to tell me she got a whole she got three rods? She got three rods in the house. Yeah. yeah. And old boy was sitting on the couch looking like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't say a word. Well, you a serial killer. Yeah. Boy, you a serial killer. Yeah. 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 Boy, you a simp. Boy, ain't no that boy, ain't no way. Y'all thought we was done with police. Right, right, right. We ain't done. Yeah. It ain't no way, man. We we go. Way. You is a you is a hoe, man. Bam. You is a hoe. And there's them, them some beta men, bro. Yeah, most definitely. How in the hell do you sit around and accept the fact that the woman that you're supposed to be? I can't. I don't even know, even know how, what kind of words to put it in. Cause well, on, she ain't your wife. Cause she heard. She his wife, you the boyfriend. So she ain't your wife, and she ain't his wife. And the new boyfriend is in the room. <laughs> like, what so the? so when they hear the ooch, ah, ooch, ah, right. You they, know what I'm saying? They, 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 they sit, sitting outside. They both sitting outside mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> I, used Lip, hang like that. <laughs> I used to do it like that. That's a damn shame, man. <laughs> I used to do it like that. <laughs> hey, you stupid, man. <laughs> Hey, what? This another clip of her? The same one? Yeah, it's the same one. That's the same one. You good yeah. over there? Oh yeah, you, you can drop that. Hey, Y'all just some hoes out there, man. Hoes <laughs> and hoe mongers. Change your life. Switch your style up and get you one wife. First, re no. First, be single. Repent. Right. Right. Learn to be content with yourself and keep the commandments of God. Minimize the parachute. They don't, <laughs> ain't no minimizing. That's it's over with. Yeah. Yeah, Go ahead, I was cause what you got? One more. Ciroc, One more? Yeah, Ciroc 25. Bring it out. <laughs> and two. For these brothers that think that they uh, are getting closer to God with this polygamy, let's see what God think about you. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 2. Three sorts of men my soul hated. God said, it's three type of people that I, damn, that I hate. It's mm -hmm. God. It's like, it's like, this ain't Officer Marshall. Right. This ain't Captain Kalai. <laughs> God said he hate these men. Read. And I am greatly offended at their life. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. He offended at your life. <laughs> offended right. at your life. <laughs> I'm, I'm, offended that game, hey, bro. I'm offended at the sperm that made you. <laughs> right, right. Sheesh. Damn. Hey, you got an expiration date, brother. Read. <laughs> a poor man that is proud. A poor man that's proud. Mm. A rich man that is a liar. A rich man that be lying. And this is what God hate the most. Read. And an old adulterer mm. that doted. Damn. An old adulterer that doted. Yeah. All you do is sex, 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 That's sex, right. sex. That That's right. Her, 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 her. Him, her, him, her, him, 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 him,
of uh, what's that right. Tyler Perry Nasty movie? He was sitting hoe. at the table. You <laughs> at the ass. She was an old hoe. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The old hoe. <laughs> Nasty hoe. <laughs> Damn. I think the whole show has been about hoes. Hoes. <laughs> and hoe mongers. Right. Damn. What we got left up here? We got a lot of stuff we ain't even touch. We're going to be... We, we, we gonna be uh, Holding on to some of that right there. I really don't think we need to go no further. <laughs> right. Like, I think this whole show is to blast the hell out of polygamists. Yeah. 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 Right. I, it think, is. I, think, I think it's a beautiful topic. Yeah, I mean, we'll say. Because we'll, we'll they say trying to bring it. Because right. they trying to bring this stuff in the community. Like, uh, right. I think hey, Austin said, Kassaza mentioned the show. Yeah, he said, called, you called, yeah, you, uh, oh, yeah, Bel Air. It's a, a reboot of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm -hmm. right. And Uncle Phil and Aunt Vivian having a rough marriage and they end up going on vacation. The the Uncle Phil end up having an issue or a, a interaction with one of his old colleagues. Co colleagues. Yeah. They kiss. And then Aunt Vivian been having eyes for a, a, the, what, the he artist, a chef. The, yeah, the artist, the guy, artist dude. The, yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, in season three, it's a chef. So they have they trying to work it out. They go to a vacation with some of their friends and they friends are in Polygamy, polygamous relationships. Mm -hmm. They do it. They trying to spice it up. They pushing us I in the black about community, it. man. Because the Fresh Prince of Bel Air that we grew up on, right, right, right. it, 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 it wasn't. It, it, did, it didn't right. involve that was, that was, all of that. What happened? They got Ashley Gay, yeah, gay. On, this show yeah. on this one. Yep. Yeah, Ashley's Point liking. No they right. got Ashley wanting to deal with. She has a, a, a emotions for women. Right. That's what they say. That's how they. That's, that's how, how they, they word it. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. That's the, that's the, this is the new Bel Air. They want to destroy it. Uh, 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 Carlton is on drugs. What the hell? Is yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. He got all kinds <laughs> of problems. Like this is this shows you how they are using these shows. They're going to use uh, Cam Newton. They're going to use mm -hmm. any of these celebrities that participate mm -hmm. in this type of lifestyle. But mainly, they're going to use these shows. That we used to use, you know, you come home from school, do your homework, you know right. what I'm saying? You home with your mother and father more back then than now. Yep, right. And these shows were uh, uh, shows that showed us how families bonded and, and, and stayed together or worked together and worked out issues. Right. But now, in today's time, they're implementing and, and forcing a different train of thought. Right. On the youth that may be yeah. consuming this this content. Right. But yeah. you know what, Cap? It's, it's heavy that you say that because they're still trying to do that, to promote that coming together, the family solving issues, overcoming issues. But they do it by showing you that it's okay to accept the evil yeah. that these right. 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 family members right. 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 right, 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 right. Uh, let's just put Carlton through a... a rehab. Through rehab. Yeah. Right. Now, when he get out of rehab, he got a, reha a girlfriend that was, you know, in rehab, and they letting them deal with each other. Right. It's, it's, it's crazy. They accepting the foolishness, uh, and that's how they bringing the family together. Yeah, and, uh, and our people going to fall for it because yeah. they're comfortable... In evil, like you went over earlier, that pleasure, that, that pleasure, sin is pleasurable, right? Right. And mm -hmm. they love to be pleasured, right? No, this is crazy, but you know, uh, okay, all praises. Yeah. Y'all got anything else? I I, I want to say one thing for those who might have got offended at us using the word "hoe" too much. In the words of Captain Ben Zion, you say four, we say four. Yeah. Ho. You right. say whore. We say we ho. We say ho. <laughs> All right? Ain't no wrong with calling y'all hoes when y'all being hoes. That's right. 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 The Bible, God said you a hoe. Right. Right. But, right. right. The word of the day is put it on the board. <laughs> Dumb ass. Right. And it's in the Bible. It is in the Bible. In hey, the let's Bible. get that. Let's get that real quick. <laughs> let's get that really quick. The Second word Peter. of the day is dumb. Ass. If you were one of those individuals. That were, you know, a part of that <laughs> Nature Boy uh, collection. I say collection because I mean collection. collection. Right. <laughs> hey, if you found yourself watching the video and you was like three, 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 three. you, my brother or my sister, are a dumbass. Dumb dumb right. Simple as that. Read that. The book of Second Peter, chapter two, and verse sixteen. But was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass. The what? The dumb ass. <laughs> uh -huh. Speaking with man's voice. See, the Lord says, the Bible says, dumb ass. Right. 
Y'all so, got rebuked for y'all's so, iniquity. So the right, word and you got rebuked for yeah, your iniquity. You got rebuked for your iniquity because you was a dumbass. You was a <laughs> you dumbass. Was a, right. All praise to the most high. This has been another show of the Final <laughs> Trumpet Radio Show. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Hey, check it out. If you want to support, 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 you can uh, send donations to iuic.columbia.se at israelunite.org. Right. All right, and then uh, somebody else, y'all can do the tech team stuff. I don't know all them. I don't know all the brothers' names back there, but shout out to the tech team. Y'all had some uh, some minor difficulties today. We need a QR code to fill out for this radio show so we can tell y'all, you right, know what I'm right, saying, right, the, what, right. what, what what we don't we'll, like, right. that you can fix. You know what I'm saying? But all praise to the Most High. Uh, I've been your host, Captain Kalai. To my right, Officer Eitan. To my far right, Officer You Want to Yasharala. My far left, oh my left, Officer You Want to Thug Asad. Far left, Officer Marshall. Far far left, Officer Kazdi. I'll read it today, Officer Yoshu. And you've been tuned into the Final Trumpet Radio Show. Stay tuned for the next episode. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. In a world hanging by the threads of chaos and despair. Almighty has spoken. He calls his chosen those who bear his divine might and saviors. We live in the book of the Acts. I carry my cross on my back. My home is still stuck in the trap. Go hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne, applying the stuff I've been shown. Been pictures through all of my walls, been pictures through all of my walls. And I'm out here painting this picture in case from the scriptures, I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples, I've seen some examples, so I think it's just about time now. To break the old habits and clean off the addicts, and yes, we are changing our life now. And when life gives us lemons, we turn it to vengeance, the stronger than the Lord and His might now. Since I just cannot stay the same It's the love been given us Been helping with the pain The people that I love They think that I've gone insane When it gets dirty and look at real If they pull up and show my they face, yeah It's a lot in my face, yeah I cannot stay with my pain, And it's only if you to stay true and stop tripping Danger if you got no clue what you slipping It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden Walking in life and I fool with no vision I'm moving like bugs to my mind steady swimming